Decisions on how to manipulate the environment involve economics, but our decisions are also influenced by our own culture and worldview. And culture is the knowledge, beliefs, values, and a learned way of life that is shared by a group of people. A person's perception of the world and his or her place within it is their worldview. So among the most influential factors that shape our worldview are spiritual beliefs and political ideologies. For example, your opinion on the role of government will shape whether you want it to intervene in a market economy to protect the environment. We value things in two ways. If something is valued for the pragmatic uses that it brings us, it has instrumental value. If something is believed to have the right to exist and is valuable for its own sake, we call that intrinsic value. A forest, for example, has instrumental value due to its timber, game, recreational uses, and water filtration. But it also has intrinsic value because it provides homes for organisms that have a right to live. Market prices can be easily assigned to instrumental values, but not as easily to intrinsic values. Ethics and ethical standards are similar and overlapping, and they are tools that help us judge right from wrong. So ethics typically refers to a set of moral principles or values used to determine right from wrong. And ethical standards are the criteria that help determine right from wrong. So one example would be the golden rule, which advises us to treat others as we would prefer to be treated. Another example would be the principle of utility, which holds that something is right when it produces the greatest practical benefits to the most people. Making ethical judgments is grounded in certain values, such as promoting human welfare, protecting individual freedoms, or minimizing suffering. So depending on the individual or the, the society's values will determine their ethical standards. The application of ethical standards to the relationship between people and non-human entities is environmental ethics. Our interaction with the environment raises many ethical questions. Is the present generation obliged to conserve for future generations? This deals with the idea of sustainability. Should some communities be exposed to a disproportionate share of pollution? This is a question that is central in environmental justice. Is there any circumstance where human-driven extinction of any species is justified. This is a debate between the relative importance of instrumental values and intrinsic values of an ecosystem.